Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you how to split screen multitask on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 and it's a very easy process. All you have to do is find applications that you can actually multitask. Not every app can be multitask so keep that in mind. In this case we'll be using a different example with the Google Play Store. So all you have to do is open up one of the applications that you want to actually multitask from. So in this case we'll just use you know the Google Play Store for example and all you want to do then is get into the multitasking panel right there. Now all you have to do here is under the name or under the, like the actual app that you have, there's the little icon of that specific application. All you have to do is go ahead and click on that application like this, and right there where it says open and split screen view, all you have to do is go ahead and click that, and what will happen is the one app will go ahead on one side, in this case the Google Play Store, and you can choose the other application. Now like I mentioned, not every app can be done like this, but in this case we can use Google Chrome. So we can go ahead and click on Google Chrome right there, and now you can see we have two different apps of the same thing. So we can have you know one app here and one app here with the Google Play Store and we have Google Chrome. Now in this case, if you want to go ahead and remove one side or whatever, you can go ahead and drag the transition strip in the middle. You can choose the size of whichever application you want. So if we want you know Google Chrome or to be this big or whatever, well, you can go ahead and do it like that. You can also go ahead and drag this up if you want this one to be bigger there. You can go ahead and do it there. So they still work, you know, hand in hand. I guess you can't use both. Oh, yeah, you can. And that's really it. If you want to go ahead and remove one over the other, you just go ahead and drag it, drag it from the side, and that application will then be deleted. But the application will still exist in your, you know, background app, you know, right there. So you can still access it that way too. So that's pretty much it. That's how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.